Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play of Man of Madon. This is the Curator's Cut, which has a few things different about it. The perspective has changed, and some of the story has changed. Like, for example, Alex got rejected by Julia. Julia get shot, and I thought she died, but no, she's still alive somehow. And um, also, something that we did differently than other playthroughs, we got Brad to come up onto the deck with us. So the entire team is together, unlike before. So I'm really interested to see where this, where this story continues, knowing that we have different perspectives to be told. La porte, la porte. The door, the la door, porte. quick, the door. I hope you're enjoying this so far. I really am myself. I think it's... Uh, this game has been incredible. I'm so glad I played it. Junior, Junior take the distribution cap off. Although I would have liked to have seen us play as the pirates. Or the fishmen. I mean, I call them pirates because they really are pirates, right? Well, let's not beat around the bush. And while this will be our last playthrough of Man of Madan, I want to say that if you enjoy this series and you want to see more Man of Madan, you know, go on and check out some other YouTubers and see what they... What the hell is wrong with me? Well, that was new. Probably because you got shot in the head. But yeah, go check out some other YouTubers, you know, and uh, see what stories they had to tell. Or go buy the game on your own and see what story you can make. I mean, that's the best thing about these type of games is... You know, each playthrough Jesus. seems different than the others, even though they share some commonalities. Uh, nope. No thanks. Yep, that would be me. Get me the heck out of here. Go on, keep moving. The ship is huge. Yes, it is. The ship is a cemetery. I hope we're the only ones here. Oh yeah, I remember that. I think that happened the first game. Yeah, I don't blame you. Especially the fact that y'all just standing around. Y'all look like the uh, the people from the happening and <laughs> just just. You know, randomly staring off into the sunset. Probably shouldn't say the happening when I'm talking about this game because this game is far better than that. <gasps> what is it that she drops? I never understood that. She drops some sort of bracelet or something, but I don't know what that bracelet is supposed to be. I forget who we played as before. Did we play as Alex through this? I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. I don't like this place at all. The Mask of Madness. You dare to look into the face of death. Why don't we get the heck out of here? I'd rather be anywhere but here. I don't really want to know what we're about to find anymore. Shut up. We keep going. What are they gonna do with us? There's not much I can do right now because they'll just push us oh, away. Shit. Are you afraid of a little rat? That was definitely a rat. Or was it? Yeah, it was probably a rat. Olsen, you're in to see. Olsen, there's a door here. Okay, all of you, into the room. Maybe we should give them something. Oh. 
so they can find a way out. Thanks. How about that? We didn't need a flashlight after all. What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. Uh, probing, maturing gold, frustrated. Nautical procedure. Hmm. It's gold probing. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. Disagree? We already tried to escape? Agree. We gotta stay sharp. Uh, agree. We gotta stay sharp. Yeah, we gotta stay sharp and keep our eyes out for the right moment. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? No, you can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While I have no idea. Panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin. I have no idea what's so important about the take cap. advantage and look around for a way out of here. I'm not a nautical person, so I don't know. I wonder what happened. Can't really look for some reason. I guess they just want us to see that it's like torn off the SS, whatever. There's a note. Oh, so, you've seen these before. When we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in the small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, <laughs> extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a.m. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on the <laughs> At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Miss J. Rivera, apartment 2, 275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky, 41027. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some short leave with the guys. I've had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? Hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Yeah, this guy Miller was really freaked out. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around. But I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together, forever. Love you so much, Miller X. This is creeping me out. Pair of bifocals. Glasses. I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. Just keep your eyes peeled for a way out of here. Doesn't there have something like over here? Yeah. I wonder why it's abandoned. Uh, I can't read any of that. American Overseas, Gangland Ling of 1947. Archaeologist missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagwas Mountains of Iraq. The Hogson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the started goal of an earthy knee. The. Uh. Whatever. Now it looks like Julius is the one who finds it this time. I'm surprised they didn't have like another character find this and it, everything else was like a time thing. Hey, take a look. We gotta wait for him to uh, get that done. Check the door. I'm going to explode the engine room. Danny, you search the holds. Cargo holds? Are you serious? 
Have you seen this place? It's falling apart, Olsen. I don't have the tools I need to get through. Do as I say and that's all. Screw you. What? What did you say? Nothing. Butthole. Stop. Stop it. Shut up, Junior. We're staying here and watching the prisoners. Prisoners? Is this a prison? How's it looking? I can't get it open. Come here. If we could bust it open, freedom. Freedom! Oh, we don't know where a bit like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. True that. You want me to just smash through this wall? Defiant, I got this. Resentful, you're the. Oh, no. No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Contrary approving. Uh, barricade the door. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Oh, that's cool. Will that work? Ah! Hey, okay, hey. good. I'm like horrible at those, so I'm glad I got it. Oh, look at this. This is smart. The only problem is, it doesn't the door open up the other way, so all you have to do is just really jump over the table. Oh no, I guess it opens in. Okay. Fair enough. Bless, let's go. Bless, let's go. Oh, don't be captured again. Uh, hey, that was a bad choice. Conrad kind of left Bless, which is weird because they were having a romance. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. Oh, you yep. see? Gotta get her. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. <sighs> Shit. You're right. At least he feels bad about it. So yeah. Good 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 on you, Conrad. I think we've seen a lot of these clues before. Uh, double duty, no having fun, and guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with a certain of punishments. Up to a court martial by order of Captain Ford. And nobody is lied in 3A. Seriously, nobody. I'll still look for secrets. Because you never know, we might have missed some secrets on our previous, on our previous playthroughs. Although, if you want a full rundown on the game, uh, make sure you check out our first playthrough, which you can click on the eye in the top right corner, or you can look at the description because uh, all our Man and Madame playlists are in the descriptions. Those clothes? Oh. Frank. Like a laundry room with clothes that are really, really old. Stupid rat. Actually did make me jump. Not enough to elicit a uh, screech, but it made me jump. Okay, let's go up here. Now, in the last game, the lady appeared right here to the right when he went through this door. I'm pretty sure it was this door. And I'm pretty sure we are Conrad. So let's see if we see someone appear on the other side of that door. No, we don't. She's not there. Hmm. I know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? Maybe it's that room instead. Something doesn't add up. Oh, I just walked right through that door. That's creepy. Cargo two out of bounds. 
But three was out of bounds. Sure. Nothing creepy about that. Just something strangely falling off the uh, the side there. I tried to click on it, but I went back to the uh, that thing up there. Maybe it was this spot that the woman appeared. I don't remember. Can we go over here? Which way do I want to go? This is a really cute, creepy camera angle. Oh yeah, let's go in the bathroom. That's a great idea. Said nobody ever. Eileen Reed, dear Ellis, or Isles, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see their faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They sent to them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading out letters. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got his stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now that the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a, to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. It usually means I'm about to get real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. Robert, kiss kiss. I wonder what happened to him. I think the ex is kiss. Being single, I don't know. Maybe it's a kiss. Circle is a hug, right? Oh my god! Jesus. Oh, my hair just went up on my arms. Like, seriously, that, that was... That was creepy. Of course, I'm going right back. No, doesn't seem to be anything here. <laughs> Absolutely creepy. All right, that was a great idea. God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? What was that? There's a guy there. Yeah. See, I didn't think you needed to do a jump scare there. Just, just had nothing what happen, and let it and sit in the background like some well, of the other scares. Is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back before we're gonna get out of here. June 19, I identified problem areas with structural brilliance and cracks in sections of cargo hold one. I circled our ship right to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain go easy, especially in bad weather. An aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electrical equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out. Can't even imagine being stuck in this rust bucket during an electrical storm. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection. Uh, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm. Caused a lot of electrical arcing, traveling through hoisting cables, the loft deck, which has left damage. Uh, received ports. Uh, the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely Tim Whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rust seas, there have been no reports of any structural damage, however. I have to work through the night to make a full assessment. Okay, I think I remember that one. But still, it's kind of cool to uh, read this story again. Check things out, see what's new, see what's different. Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. I saw a couple shinies here. Good thing we have that lamp, or else we wouldn't be able to read. 
Thursday the 12th. Skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. Um, yeah, basically there were some people fighting, and he basically said, Hey, let's get rid of the booze. It got me thinking, who, who could be, who could it be in those boxes? Friday the 13th. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said I was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Just heard one of those guys snuck a look here at the boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get a look in him. It's all set. He reckons he can sink me in tonight. Yeah, that's a really bad idea. I bet you anything those guys died. Very, very horrible deaths. Oh, here's that uh, rat skull, right? Yeah. Anything down here? Oh! Huh. I don't ever remember seeing that. I mean, I remember him, like, cutting his throat, but did he bang his, uh, head against the wall first? Maybe it's different because it's curated cup. Curated cup. Curated cut. This is some Mario Kart racing world pre. It's a shame we couldn't play as Fliss during this part. There's something moving down there. Yep, there's someone down there, all right. You know, I just noticed in the game there's a guy named James and a guy named Olsen. You know, Jimmy Olsen, hey, look. Daily Planet. That the distributor cap from the Duke? We should grab it. Our son. Forceful. Concerned. Ah, but let's be forceful. We gotta go get him. We've already been shot. We gotta. I'm surprised it's Brad doing this. Please don't die, Brad. Holy crap. Um Hide or warn Brad. She is selfish. But she's also courageous. That's so tough. I don't understand why you give him two treats like that. Um I mean if we don't warn Brad. Bad things could happen. But I don't I don't know if we've ever done hide before. Let's do it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on, Brad, you're super smart. You got this. Okay. Qui est là? Okay, who's there? Je vous ai entendu. I heard you. Qui est là? Who's there? It's Fliss and Junior. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre. Stop screaming. Je crie pas. Trying to hear what's going on. I'm not screaming. Je veux Shut up. I want to know where the others are. Hey, 
No, not yet. All right, I see you. Come on. Darn it. Step out. I didn't get a chance to do anything with that. I was hoping for some Stand QTEs or something. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. This story is already very different from our previous runs, even with the creator cut. Because the, to have, you know, Brad get captured with Fliss. It's a very interesting turn of events. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> so we're Fliss? I think we're always Fliss for this part, weren't we? Because she doesn't want to get going, caught. Damn it. I guess it's inevitable. There's certain story sections which I guess you got to repeat. You know, just because there's nothing you can do with them otherwise. Hey! Huh? Back off! Leave that alone. I was hoping with Brad here it would be an extra distraction. Ready for what? Ready to take him out. Oh, oh, oh. Heck Grab yeah. And keep moving. Work together, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork. What do we need? Team. Less ghosts. We need less ghosts. I thought there was something on the floor there. There isn't. All right, come out. Show yourself. Just the captain's hat. Damn it. These fucking places cursed. I don't think you're too wrong there, buddy. SS Madon. NG Madon. I don't think we've ever found the, the full name of this ship. Like, we know it's Madon something, but we never found out what the. Come on. What the first name is. Was that noise? What noise? Olsen! I think he's blown up fuse. <laughs> I think he's blown up fuse. Oh, jeez. Speaking of fuses blowing. Haven't we been here before? Anything over Keep here? Moving. I guess not. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Do you see something here? What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. I don't know. It looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Now what we need to do is we need to keep moving, like get the heck out of this ship. But Olsen? no. Ma'am. Olsen, what are you doing? It's a hand. Hmm. 
Try to get rid of this guy before we can actually do anything. Attack him from behind. What the heck is going on? Dude lost it is what just happened. Kind of like how bright is here though. We get extra dialogue that we missed before. Where did he go? Hey, what? Just can't vanish. Come on, we should keep moving. The cloaked figure. I don't remember the cloak figure guy having a staff though. Which where do we go? Left? Hey Brad, there you are. That was a lot of square pressing. We need to find a way up on deck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man. My head jerked back like two feet seeing that. We're now to play this game a few times. You, you forget what's going to happen when. So even though I remember seeing that guy once before, I didn't remember it until after it. And then by then, I was already moved by it. That be a good sign. Now, that's the thing that makes the game a game, in my opinion. Uh, the idea is, you know, does the game move you? Do you feel anything from it? Do you get excitement out of it? Enjoyment? Shut up. What are you doing? Uh, what do we got? Card duty. Strictly no authorized entrance. Not only post till you're relieved, and we noticed that Patterson was crossed out. Is that the guy who jumped? Could be. Yeah, nothing creepy about that at all. I believe we can get a knife if we go this way. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing though, because in this type of game, having a weapon is actually more likely to cause death. And I know I know that doesn't make any sense because the weapons oh, cause death, but I'm just what saying down here? you're more likely to die if you have a weapon than if you don't have a weapon. Can I... Charles Perez, Rex Perez dog tags from the people who are guarding this area. Oh, we get separated from Brad. Oh, that's why that door shuts like that. Oh, that's clever. So the game divides you up no matter what happens. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Oh my Jesus. And that's why that part's so creepy, because you just had Brad with you. Ah, uh, I see now. Oh, 
The way he's walking, sauntering along like that. So creepy. What is going on here? Well, it's... Anything back here? Nope. Through the doors we go. Jeez. Circle? I almost lost that one. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, say Brad, definitely. Say Brad. I mean, do you even have to think about that? Did you see the door open and. Oh my god. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.